Hi, welcome to Craftiosity, the subscription box of Modern Craft Kits. This month we're working with paper cutting to make a paper cut lamp. So we have a cutting mat, two disposable scalpels, and this is so that you can make sure you're always working with a sharp knife, a glue stick, an LED tea light, and then a number of sheets. So you've got three template sheets for all of the different plants. a template sheet with circles on it for the base of the light, and then you've got a smaller sheet of white paper, sheets of tracing paper, and then coloured papers. Take one of the mid-green papers and your circles template sheet and pop them to one side for now. Also put to one side one sheet of the tracing paper. So the first stage is to make up all of the plants individually. So this is what they all look like, and I'll just show you how to make them. So here on your template you'll see you've got an illustration of what the plant will look like and then all of the different segments. We'll start with this one. So take a piece of tracing paper and then put it on top of the template and draw around each of the segments with a pencil. And you'll see here you don't need to be too exact but just aim to copy it as best you can. And just do the same for all of the different sections. Once you've done that, then take your sheets of colourful papers. So for example, in this one, I'm going to do the plant pot in orange. Turn your tracing paper over so that the original pencil marks are facing down and then draw over them again with the pencil. What you're doing here is transferring your original pencil marks onto the paper so you've got a template to cut out. There we go. And now do the same with the rest of them. So for example, for these leaves, I'm just going to alternate the greens. So do one in one color, one in the next, one in the third. So I've just done the first leaf in that, and then I will do the third leaf again in the same color. And I've just finished in a different shade of green. I'm just gonna show you all the bits together so you can see how this works. There you are, ready to cut out. Before we actually start cutting anything, I just want to show you some paper cutting tips and tricks. Now the blade is obviously sharp, so look after your fingers and make sure your non-cutting hand is out of the way of the blade. You also want to get good movement in your arm when you're cutting, so don't just cut from your wrist. If you use your whole arm to cut with, you'll find that it's much easier. Cut with the blade straight up, so if you've got it tilted to one side or the other, you'll find it more tricky to cut. Before you cut any of your template pieces, get a little practice in by cutting the edge of the paper. If you're cutting something that's curved, do this in sections. You don't want to cut more than, say, about a quarter of a circle at one time. So cut a piece, turn your paper and your cutting mat, cut the next piece and then repeat. Always cut towards you. There you go. Here I'm going to do a quick sketch just to show you how to cut the corners. So start cutting just above the line and then continue down just past the line and do this on both sides. This gives you a nice clean cut. Sometimes you want to cut out a piece of paper within another piece that you're cutting out. So if you're doing that, the by far the easiest way is to cut out the smaller inside pieces first and then cut out the outside pieces. Now with this piece, this is another little fiddly piece and I just want to show you here cutting the inside corners. So I'm dipping the scalpel tip right into the inside edge of the corners and then cutting out. This is the easiest way to make sure that you don't accidentally overcut and also that you get nice crisp inside corners. You'll also notice that I've started cutting on the outside edge of the paper first. This is so that the piece is actually attached to the main section of the paper for as long as possible so that it's easier to cut out. If you're trying to cut out something that's quite delicate and you don't have much paper to grip a hold of, it can be quite tricky. Continue cutting out all of the pieces. I recommend doing one plant at a time. Once you've finished, use an eraser to take off all the pencil marks. 
On the instructions, you'll notice it says times two of the plant pot. This is for the front and also for the back of the plant pot once you've got all the pieces in. To do this, go back to tracing paper and turn it over so you're cutting out a mirror opposite to the piece you did before. So you can see here how they'll look. Before you begin gluing, just check your hands are free from any pencil marks. Now we're putting together all the pieces of the plant and I'm using the template to give me a bit of guidance. Feel free to do your own way though if there's another way you'd like to put the leaves. Now I'm gluing the bottom of the leaves before we put them inside the pot. There we go. Adding the detail to the pot and it just comes slightly over the edges so I'm popping it back on the cutting mat and taking off those little overlaps. In order to make sure your plants stand up, we need to create a little stands for them. Now these are pieces of paper that will come out the bottom of the plant pot and then insert into the base. So here I'm measuring the width of the plant pot and just very broadly cutting that out of one of your sheets of paper. This is a structural element so no one else will see this. Once you have a strip cut out, measure the length of it. Allow a couple of centimetres within the pot and then another couple of centimetres on the outside. Glue part of the stand inside the pot and then glue on the back of the pot so that the stand is hidden. Now we're going to start on the next plant and I'm going to go with this one. I won't show you all of these but I do want to show you a couple just so you get an idea. And here, just for ease, I'm crossing out the previous tracing so I remember which plant I'm working on now. This time, the front and the back of the pot are two different pieces. You can see here the front of the pot dips down and has a white line to mark it out, and then the back of the pot comes round the back of the plants. With this plant, I've gone for two colours of green, the main one in the background, and then a different green for on top of the leaves. As I've cut the leaves out, I've positioned them in order on my table, so I know where they should be going onto the larger piece. Glue the pieces on. And now I'm gluing the plants into the plant pot. So the first one's quite simple. When I'm putting the second one in, I'm positioning it in a way so that the leaves overlap. As before, I'm putting in a strip for the stand. And once that's glued in, gluing on the back of the plant pot. Now let's just show you some of the little fiddly pieces that might be trickier to cut out. So I'm going to start with this one. This is just a stem from another plant. And again, because I'm cutting into corners, I'm dipping the scalpel right into the corner, then cutting the edges. I'm doing both sides before I cut out the middle, just to keep it strong in the centre for as long as possible. There you go. These ones are quite fiddly as well, so these are the little heart-shaped leaves on the inside of one of the other plants. And again, I'm just cutting towards me and moving the paper around to cut out each of the sections. Just go slow and steady. Once you've done your plants, take the template with the circles and the spare sheet of mid-green paper that you put to one side. Hold these tightly together and then use a pair of scissors to cut them out. These three circles will form your base, with the stands for each plant slotting in between the circles and then the plants folded up. When deciding how to position your plants, I've gone for the three largest plants plus one of the cacti around the smallest circle, with the rest of the plants positioned around the medium circle in a way that fills the gaps. When gluing the plants to the circle, glue the back of the stand of the plant pots. You'll then fold the plants up so the front of the plants is showing out. So do this with your central circle. There you can see them folded. And then choose where you want your other plants to go. Glue these to the medium circle in the same way. To assemble it all together, Take your medium circle and then glue the entirety of the circle on the side with the stand pieces. Then turn this over and glue it onto the largest of the green circles so that it is central. Do the same with the smaller circle, so glue the entire thing on the side with the stands. Turn it over 
and then position it carefully so it's where you want it to be and also central to the circles below. To give the central plant some stability, we're going to create little stands for them. So take another strip of paper and then roll it up tightly into a little roll. Glue the end and then glue two sides. One will sit on the base of the stand and one will sit against the plant pot. Pinch your little roll into the bottom of the plant pot. There you go. And then you can adjust the angle of where you want the plants to sit. Once you've done this, fold up the rest of your plants. If you don't want a diffuser in the middle, well done, your light is complete. And here we can see what it looks like in the dark. Okay, so now you have a choice. You can either leave your lamp as it is, just pop the LED tea light in the centre, or you can create a diffuser for in the middle. To make the diffuser, take the sheet of tracing paper that you put to one side and curl it along its longest edge. Decide the width of your diffuser. We went with the width of the tea light as a guide. Mark the tracing paper where to cut and leave an overlap of about a centimetre and a half. Then align this with the cutting mat so you've got a nice straight line and cut along the straight line with the scalpel. Now decide the height of your diffuser. Do the same as before and cut down a straight line. Glue along one side of the height of the diffuser, roll the tracing paper along itself and then carefully stick together the two halves. Pop this into the centre of the light with your tea light and there you go, your light is complete. Well done. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you did, subscribe to our page and head on over to craftiosity.co.uk to sign up to our newsletter. Bye.